Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. In this short video, I'll show you two ways to create an in-circle within a triangle using GeoGebra, which is the software I'm using here. The triangle and the in-circle will behave dynamically and automatically adjust when you manipulate the triangle. In case you don't know, an in-circle, as shown on your screen, is one that fits perfectly within the confines of a triangle. The first method that I'll show you is one that is done manually without using the in-circle function that comes pre-built in GeoGebra. So let's get started. We'll begin by placing three points randomly along this 2D plane. So let's place one here, one over here, and one down here. Next, we will use the line segment tool to connect these three points. And we do that by clicking the points from one to another, and finally one more line segment from C to A. The next thing we do is use the angle bisector tool. And the way this works is by clicking one of the vertices, then another, and finally the last one. We'll repeat this two more times, B, C, A, and finally C, A, B. Notice what this does. It creates lines that pass through the vertex and ensures the angle is divided into two equal parts. Now we want to create a point in the middle. We'll call that point D. And lastly, using the perpendicular line tool, I'll create a perpendicular line that passes through D and any one of the sides of this triangle. So I'll select side BA randomly, and I'll place a point where that line intersects with line segment BA, and it's called E. To make matters simple, I will remove these lines for clarity's sake. And now, I will use this tool called the circle with center through a point. I'll click this, and that point, and we have created an in-circle within this triangle. And notice how it behaves. It is dynamic. As I move any one of these vertices, that circle will remain within the triangle and never pop out. Now that's one way to do it. Another way to do it involves using the in-circle function. So I'll go ahead and remove that circle along with point E and point D. Those are not necessary. And using the input of in circle, all you have to do now is state the points A, B, C. And that creates a perfect in circle within the triangle. And there you have it. Now you know how to create an app that has a circle perfectly embedded within a triangle. 